Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a course on morphology and syntax. In this video, I'm going to show you the analysis of a compound complex sentence using three diagrams. And you know that the most complicated type of a sentence is a compound complex sentence. And now we are trying to solve the problem of analyzing such kind of sentence by using three diagrams. Now, the sentence to be analyzed is, when Ali got his first salary, he paid his brother's school fee and his parents are proud of him. Yeah, this is a long sentence. And this video also proves that a three diagram is the most applicable diagram or the most applicable tool of visualizing sentence analysis. Okay, uh, for the first time before we analyze that sentence, we have to find out the deep structure of the sentence because, you know, normally the sentence begins with a subject, not with a conjunction. Therefore, the first step in this analysis is to find out the deep structure of this sentence. And the result is Ali paid his brother's school fee when he got his salary and his parents are proud of him. This is actually the deep structure of the compound complex sentence. When Ali got his first salary, he paid his brother's school fee and his parents are proud of him. Okay, so this is the, the sentence in the form of deep structure. Now, we begin the analysis of a deep structure. And you know, when we are talking about deep structure and using three diagrams, it means that we are also talking about transformational rules. Okay, now this is the analysis. And you know that all of the analysis begin with uh, sentences. Now, the sentence has three branches, and they are subject, coordinate conjunction represented by CJC, and the other sentence, because we have here a coordinate conjunction, and normally we have three branches of the sentence. Okay, now, um, and first of all, we have to write here the element or the constituent of coordinate conjunction, and in this case is N. Okay, now we analyze each of the sentences. Okay, the first uh, group of sentence that is, uh, Ali paid his brother's school fee when he got his first salary. So sentences divide to NP and VP, and then the constituent of the NP is noun, and Phoebe is composed of three elements, including verb, and then noun phrase, and then adverb phrase. Okay, now we are going to see the constituents of the NP. The NP here is composed of three constituents. The first one is determiner noun, the second one, and the third one is the other noun. Now, we have also to define, to define the constituent of the determiner, okay? And here, the determiner is composed of NP and POS, or possessive noun phrase, okay? As usual, when we analyze NP POS, we have to determine the element of the NP, okay? So NP is composed of the other determiner noun. Okay, it means that we have to continue exploring the constituent of the determiner. And the determiner here is composed of pro s or possessive pronoun. Okay, now we go on to the adverb phrase and you see the adverb phrase here actually is composed of a clause. And in a three diagram analysis, a clause in the form of dependent clause is considered as a phrase. That's why it is under the head of adverb phrase. 
So adverb phrase here is composed of subordinate conjunction and the other sentence. And this is okay, the position of the clause in a three diagram. And then we have here subordinate conjunction and we focus now on analyzing the sentence. A sentence is composed of NP and VP, noun phrase and verb phrase. And then the NP is composed of only a noun and the VP is composed of verb and NP. Because we still have NP, we still have to explore our analysis. And the NP here is composed of determiner, adjective and noun. And once again, we have here the other determiner. What does it mean? It means that we still have to explore the constituent of the determiner. And in this context, the determiner is represented by possessive pronoun. Okay. Now we go on to analyze the second sentence, okay, in this class or in this compound complex sentence. Okay, now the sentence is composed of NP and VP, and NP here is composed of determiner and noun. Okay, we explore now the constituent of the determiner. Okay, and it is only composed of possessive pronoun. And then we go on to find out the constituents of the verb phrase. Okay, and in this sentence, the verb phrase is composed of linking verb or VL, then adjective, and then prepositional phrase. Okay, now uh, we explore the elements or the constituent of the PP or prepositional phrase. Okay, as usual, PP is composed of preposition plus noun phrase or PAP plus NP. And the NP here is represented by the personal pronoun. Okay, now you see we have labeled all the constituents of the sentence and now we see the sentence or each of the words that compose the sentence. What is it? Okay, Ali paid his brother's school fee when he got his first salary. And the second one here is, and his parents are proud of him, okay? This is the result of the analysis in the form of deep structure for the sentence, Ali paid his brother's school fee when he got his first salary and his parents are proud of him. But the sentence that we are going to analyze is not in the form of a deep structure but in the form of surface structure. So what does it mean? It means that we have to transform this sentence into a surface structure. And this is what we call as a transformation or exactly here adverb phrase transformation. Why is it called adverb phrase transformation? Because the element which is transformed is adverb phrase. Okay, now let's see the result of this transformation. Okay, here you are. The result is called surface structure. Okay, so we have here, we still have subject, uh, sorry, sentence is composed of sentence, coordinate conjunction and sentence. And then we also have here coordinate conjunction, which is represented by N, now we see the difference between the deep structure and surface structure. Unlike deep structure, in surface structure, the sentence here is divided into three branches, okay? In the deep structure, we have only two branches for this sentence, okay? Um, what makes this sentence have three branches is the adverb phrase here has been moved as the element of a sentence. In the deep structure, the adverb phrase here is the element of the verb phrase, but it has been transformed. That's why this is called as adverb phrase transformation. Okay, 
Now, um, yeah, we still have verb and be. Okay, determinant, noun, noun. Okay, and determinant is composed of NP and pause. And the NP is also composed of the other determiner and noun. And the determiner is also represented by the possessive pronoun. We, we have exactly the same constituents like the one in the deep structure. Okay, now we see the element of the adverb phrase. We also have here subordinate conjunction and sentence. Okay, we also still have the same consists of the sentence and P, 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 and then the NP is composed of noun and the FIP is composed of verb plus NP, and then the NP is composed of determiner plus adjective noun, and the determiner is composed of possessive pronoun. Okay, exactly the same constituents we, uh, like we have in, in the deep structure. Okay, we just move the position of the adverb phrase. This is what we call as transformation. Okay, now let's see here. Uh, the second one, of course, you know, the second clause or the independent clause has no any change. It is exactly similar with the one we have in the deep structure. So we have here NPVP, NP determinant noun, and then the de determinant is composed of possessive pronoun, and then the verb phrase is composed of linking verb adjective and prepositional phrase, and prepositional phrase is composed of preposition and noun phrase, and the noun phrase is composed of personal pronoun. We have labeled all the constituents of the sentence. Now, um, our task is only to write, okay, all of the words that constitute each of the elements shown in this three diagram. So we have here when as the subordinate conjunction, and you know, the word Ali, okay, the word Ali is used here instead of he, why? Because the sentence or the verb, or the adverb phrase has to be moved in the first in the first element of a sentence. So instead of a, instead of using he, we use Ali in this clause. So we have here when Ali got his salary, and then we have here he paid his brother's school fee. Okay, he paid his brother's school fee, and his parents are. Uh, proud of him. So what can you understand from this transformation? Once again, you have to realize that transformation is the process of change from the deep structure into surface structure. So what does it mean? It means that before you analyze the sentence, you have to find out the deep structure form of the sentence you are going to analyze. Once you have found it, you have identified the deep structure form, and then you begin the analysis from that deep structure form. And then you transform it into a service structure form. And this is the result of the analysis. Now, in a simple analysis, you see here, this is, the, this is the deep structure, okay? This is the deep structure of the sentence, okay? We, I put here triangles because, you know, this has been analyzed, so we don't need to analyze anymore, okay? So we have here, Ani paid his brother's school fee when he got his first salary and his parents are proud of him. This is the deep structure form of the sentence. When Ali got his first salary, he paid his brother's school fee and his parents are proud of him. And we have here adverb phrase transformation. And there's a of transformation is this one. Okay, so you see here that the adverb of phrase that used to be the element of a verb phrase has been transformed and now it becomes the constituent of the sentence. 
Okay, that's why it, it is called adverb phrase transform, transformation. Okay, that's why it is called adverb phrase transform, transformation. We just move the adverb phrase here into the beginning of the sentence. I hope you can understand how to analyze a long sentence. Okay, so by uh, showing or by watching this video, you do understand that uh, three diagrams are applicable to analyze all of kinds of sentences. We don't care how long the sentence is. Okay, we can use a three diagram to analyze every sentence. That's all. I hope you understand this uh, material or this analysis. And if you want to know more, just watch this video more than once. Okay, that's all. And thank you.